Wind and rain are continuing to pick up here at the Cherry Grove Pier, and we've been in the Cherry Grove area since about 2 o'clock this morning, bringing you updates as we get them. So we want to go ahead and show you the conditions that we're looking at here on the beach. You can see that the tide is a little bit higher. High tide in this area is around noon, lunchtime today, uh, but nothing too, too crazy. We haven't seen any real signs of major damage here. Uh, there is power outages citywide across the North Myrtle Beach area, and that's something that uh, we've known since earlier this morning, but those have continued to go out at our hotel. Our power went out about an hour ago, so this is something that's happening all across our coverage area, including here in North Myrtle Beach and Cherry Grove. At last check at about 1030 in the morning, sustained winds for North Myrtle Beach were in the mid-20s with gusts in the 50s, and so we mentioned that over and over again because EMS and responders, they can't get to you if sustained winds get anywhere above 40 to 50 miles per hour because then that makes it unsafe for them to get on the roads and to get to you. They put their lives in danger trying to get to you. So that's when they halt their operations, responding to home calls or to rescue calls. But they do encourage you to call 911 so they can walk you through the process and walk you through any needs you might need. Other than that, here from North Myrtle Beach, we spoke to the city manager a couple of hours ago, and he said that he just wants to thank all of the responders who are taking the time to help people. They're sleeping and they're working practically 24-7. So we at News 13 also wanted to thank those responders. And we're continuing to keep an update here from the Cherry Grove Pier. If you could hear that, that was just a very large gust that went by behind us. We are staying safe under the covering of the pier and we'll continue to update you on News 13. There you go, a report from North Myrtle Beach, the Cherry Grove Pier. We're in your corner with full coverage of Hurricane Florence. We're talking live updates on the Tropical Tracker, live webcams, and a list of local shelters open for evacuees. Just head over to our website, WJHL.com.